welcome back. This is segment 19 of my building the Black Pearl. And I've made a little bit of progress. I wanted to touch on a few things uh, before I head out for another couple of weeks in uh, a little warmer climate than where I live. So let me uh, update you on some of that. Also, I, I want to mention that I highlighted in this upcoming video that I use this rat liner tool. I can't necessarily recommend it for this particular model. It'll still come in handy and it is useful to show how to tie rat lines. So that'll be part of this video also is uh, how to tie rat lines. If you're a beginner like me, and even though I talk like I know what I'm talking about, it's I'm learning as I go. So understand that. So if you're a, a seasoned veteran shipbuilder, realize that it's still a learning process for me. Another tool that I had purchased that I will feature in this is a dead eye tool so that you can get the spacing right. And it didn't work out like I wanted it to either. I, again, I will still use this from time to time, but it caused me some difficulties in that I could not put this lower, uh, well, it's a wire that wraps around it, and I, I couldn't have that on when I made the dead eye. So I used it on this side of the ship when I turn the ship around and do this opposite side, I'm going to do the dead eyes the traditional way and build them on the ship as opposed to using this dead eye tool. Let me show you how I got to this point. Preparing to make the dead eyes, I figured out a couple different techniques, so I'm going to show you what the one I settled on. One area that there's not a lot of clarity in the instructions are the dead eyes and these supports that are underneath here. Now it does tell you what the part is. It's S4 as a support. And if you look closely, there's a little rectangular cutout there at that bend. And then there's a small hole at the top and the bottom. And that's the connection point. But there's not much talk about securing this dead eye. So what I have done is made an example. And this is made from the eye bolts that come with the kit. And that's the little brass piece. And this is what I've come up with what works best for me. I take one of these eye bolts and it just so happens that one inch works perfect for me. So I trim off the excess. Next is I'm going to go ahead and form it on the dead eye. And you'll want this to be, I don't know how, opposite as far as the circular pattern, opposite of what the dead eye is itself. And then it's a matter of just kind of tweaking it in place. So once you have that crimped on, now I'm going to bend this out straight. And then the next trick is I want to bend it a little bit in, inward, inward towards the ship itself. Because I've noticed that these brass braces are a little short. Okay, the next step is you want the, the three holes, you want it pie-shaped with the top pointing away from this connecting point. I hope that's clear. So this will then connect to one of these. Now this is not the order I do it in, but I want to go ahead and show you how this fits on here. And this is part number S4. And there is a slot and a small hole and a small hole. So this goes on just where the small hole is. And you'll have to open up the circular part just a little bit. That fits on there. Now I can close the hole back up. Okay, this is... The ship's here. 
this is going to go this way, I want to put a slight angle on the bottom of that just below the little rectangular opening. Just a slight angle. And then I've been using this for dead eyes. So now I have these pre-made. They are lining up pretty well. And the reason I decided to use this, when I just put the dead eyes on the ship, it seems like I get them all different distances apart. So that's an art in progress, whereas this keeps me consistent. This will mount to the ship. Then I will complete this tie-off after I hook it to the rigging lines. Let me show you on the ship itself. Here they are in place. They're not attached. What I will do is I'll hold that in against there and I'll take a pen or something and make a, a mark. So here's the needle I was talking about. I've got that one right where I want it to be. I can insert right there. And I could tap this in with a, a hammer or I've just been kind of rotating it, twisting it. And that gives me that small hole that I want. So once you get that in the right position, and I did put a little bit of adhesive on the end of this nail. A little punch to get in there all the way. Closer view of that. So I think you get the idea of how that will work. Before you begin work on the dead eyes, make sure that you recognize that some are marked 40. That's the larger dead eyes. And then others are 41. And they're small. I failed to do that back here on the back of the ship, so I had to take all of this off. This is one of the errors I talked about earlier. So the back of the ship, all three are 41. These two lines that go up to the center mast are 41. And then... These are all 40. These are a combination. I think there's two small ones and then the rat lines are 40. Something that has come in handy with some of the rigging, this is a needle threader and for these dead eyes you need to take this tag and bring it from the back out. So you can simply slip that through that opening and now you just take the tag and slip it through the... So once you get thread through the, th the needle threader, pull it through. And there it is. Very handy tool. Very inexpensive. So I hope that gives you an idea of what you're going to need to accomplish. And you can see I've made good progress. Then these will connect to the rat lines and connect to the different masts on the ship. I'm working from right to left. You take the thread, you go behind and under the thread on the first draw, and you'll get this little S-shaped kind of a, okay. Now you take the end of the thread again and go behind. And this time you dive that right through the hole, right through the opening. So you see this circular pattern that's been made? Go right through that opening. And here's where a little bit of the art takes place. Pull straight to the left and then just kind of keep kind of tweaking these little loops. And it'll pull equally. Then when you get all the way down, I pinch the rope and pull pretty snug. Now this will be a tag, will get cut off, and now I'll continue working all the way across. Again, we're going behind, under the rope that is there, and we're going to come back, go behind, pull it out, and go through that opening. Pull to the left. Gently tapping those together and then pull it tight. Gives you a nice rope.
again behind, under. I'm going to go behind, out, and through the opening. and kind of do that. You don't need to do it real tight. Matter of fact, you don't want to do it tight. You don't want to pull. So you can, you don't want to pull that over. You want it so it's just straight. If you want, you can put a straight edge on the two lines to make sure they're straight. And now you can adjust your knots accordingly because you can slide them. Glue on there of your choice. The two outside ones you need to get pretty good because you don't want that to come untied. You're going to snip that off. But the interior ones just a little bit so they don't loosen. I will continue that every other mark, go all the way up. And then up here at the top, I'll probably do a couple more up this direction, maybe as many as three, because I'll be getting to the top of the mast. That just depends. And I could actually do that once it's on the ship also. The instructions do a pretty good job of visually telling you what to do. For example, this is R1, and then if you find R1 elsewhere on this uh, blueprint, it gives you more detail. And you can see here's R2, which is this area here. So it shows you how to tie off some of your ropes that go down either to the uh, rat lines or some of these other cables. So this is the order I'm going to do it in. I'm going to start with uh, the rat lines and then all of these lines, get those complete. And then you go to the next section and you can see there are more lines to add. And this also shows it with the yards in place. So they'll be put on at that phase. And then you go to the final segment of the blueprints and finish your work. And here you can see another detail on this R10 and how you do some of that rope work. So that's my plan. See, there's other clues on how to tie things off. So it's a matter of taking your time and trying to match what is here. And again, I'm a beginner, so I do make errors, which I'll show you one now. Remember, I used that rat line maker tool, and it wasn't for this gauge of ship. So I've got a little kink here. So I'm not going to use that rat lining tool for the other side of the ship. I'm going to string it manually. And the option I have here is either redoing this entire thing, which I'm not going to do. I could remove the climbing ladders here on this side because some ships don't have them all, all the way across on all. I'm undecided, so. And I could redo the whole thing, but I'm going to get the ship finished before that. The other problem I ran into with that, uh, the rat lining tool, is because I had put the masts together, I couldn't use the loops on this. I just pulled it through and it's glued underneath. Whereas it should be more like this. So you can see where I looped it. Now you can't see... Oh, there you can see underneath how I wrap those lines that go down to this one. And this one I did do manually. I'm a little crooked there, you can see. So again, practice makes perfect. This will not be the last ship that I ever make. So that's it for segment 19 on building the Black Pearl. I'll be back in a couple weeks and continue. I hope to get the, this entire side done with the rat lines 
and some of the other workings and then of course I have to do the other side also so this will be a little time consuming I do want to try and slow down and and get these lines better than I ever have in any of my other shipbuilding tasks so that's it again as always I appreciate you watching and following along it's it's a very rewarding hobby and I hope you'll consider joining me in some sort of an endeavor start out small work your way up but when you get to a ship that's this size I highly recommend spending a little bit more money and get something that has quality that at least you know all the parts there and the instructions are something that you can work through if you're a beginner like me well worth the investment